Good day to you again. Good day to you again. When we last left, we were trying to get the missile to target the player. And I must admit, we had a few issues. Well, let's take a look at it right now, okay? What we want to do first is um, let's, uh, let's start the missile rotating in the direction that we think it's supposed to go. So, you see, we had a comment here. We're uh, going to rotate this thing. So what we need to do is, uh, really what we want is that cross product dot Z. And actually we want to normalize that cross product, okay? And we want to normalize the missile direction. So we're gonna normalize both of those. And another thing that I saw after I had paused, stopped the video for uh, last week is I have the X and Y's mixed up for the missile to target. Oh my! So let's fix that. The next thing that we are going to want to do is here we are, our, our sprite angle is actually in radians, which is fine. But let's... Let's convert that, and since we're normalized here, that means we need, we also need a speed, a rotate speed. Okay, so I'm gonna set up here, we're gonna set a local rotate speed equals, let's do 20 for now. That's gonna be 20 radians per second, I guess, because we're gonna convert this I believe. We're going to convert this to math.pi over 180, and that'll give us radians. Let's see what we get here. Oh no! Normalize. Didn't we have a normalize on our vector 2? Vector 2. Normalize. There it is right there, and we must have messed something up. Uh, missile. What are we doing? That's a vector 3. So really we want vec this vector normalized. Uh, I guess we won't normalize this one because it's really going to, this is actually going to be, a, yeah, we're good. Um, and so you see now our missile actually follows us. Now the rotational speed isn't correct because he really should be, or maybe it is, maybe we're just rotating too fast. Let's do like something like that. We No. No, that's not exactly right. So we've got self sprite angle plus CPZ times our rotate speed times DT. Let's move this out here to kind of make more sense of what we're doing. Um, CP dot Z. Really, that's what we're looking for. Let's do a couple of things. These positions are actually the upper left hand corner of these sprites, if you remember. Let's um, let's add a another function here and let's call it sprite center end and we'll just return a vector to self dot position dot x plus self dot width divided by two so we're just going to return the the center point of our sprite rectangle self dot position dot y plus self dot height divided by 2. So that way we have a vector 2 and we're just going to do this and we're going to do this center like so and then we can do this like so. And we'll check and make sure that works and that's working and you see again he's rotating in the right direction Okay, and we also need a, let's call it, uh, let's call it a missile speed, missile speed. Um, just give it a low speed for now. And that will cause us to, after we rotate, we will need to self.sprite.position.x equals so what we're going to do is we're going to take the direction that we're currently facing 
And we're going to, um, since it's normalized, because we've normalized it, so then all we have to do is the following missile direction dot x times missile speed times dt. So that should move us towards the way that our missile is facing. Let's look at that real quick. And that looks like that is indeed working. So we have a missile that is, that is tracking us. Good. Now, um, let's check it. Check out this stuff here. So we've got we've got our missile to target vector. And let's normalize. Let's do normalize this one too. That will let us, um, so that will help whenever we do the cross product, we should get a normalized vector since we've normalized the missile direction vector and then the missile to target. And that will, that will really let us actually have an actual rotation speed because this will be normalized. The Z will be normalized and we should, uh, we should rotate a lot slower. As you can see, he's rotating really slowly. So if we did 200 radians per second or something like that, you see now he's, and you see he goes faster whenever he gets farther away. So if we did something like 100 maybe, well we can play with these values, but you can see that he's coming around pretty nicely and he's following our player just like we want him to. Okay. That looks uh, phenomenal, if you will. We could additionally do one other thing, and that is we could check to see if we have a Z component. So in other words, we could take 2D vectors here. And again, if we did this, um, then this isn't exactly a cross, a, a cross product because it, becomes, it kind of becomes something else. Uh, but we can do this, so, but we'll make a note and say if note, if both vectors are 2D, then this isn't really a cross product. It is something else. Because that makes the X here go to zero and the Y here go to zero. Um, so let's let's do that because that way we don't have to do all this stuff and this makes us makes our little makes it a little bit less confusing and then if we come over here so he still works so there we go we finished our, our player seeking missile and that is going to be it for this episode. It's a little bit shorter. Of course, my episodes have been running a little long here lately. Uh, when we get back, we will look at punching missiles and explosions and trying to figure out how to do some non-axis aligned bounding box collision. See you next time.